So our equation is 4x square minus 12x plus 5 equals 0. On this slide, I am going to use the factorization method. Now, if I compare this given equation with the standard form of the quadratic equation, ax square plus bx plus c equals 0. The value of a is 4, b is minus 12, and c is 5. So I am looking for two numbers which when added give me b. What is b? Minus 12. And the same set of numbers when multiply give me the product of ac. What is product of ac? 4 times 5, 20. Clearly, the numbers are minus 2 and minus 10 because minus 2 times minus 10 is 20 plus 20 and minus 2 added to minus 10 is minus 12. So, let's rewrite our equation. So, 4x square, this minus 12 is what? Minus 2 added to minus 10. So, minus 12x will be minus 2x added to minus 10x plus 5 as it is equal 0. Let's regroup our terms. So, 4x square minus 2x in one of the brackets minus 10x minus 5 in one of the brackets. If you are wondering why I have changed the signs, because I have taken this minus outside. Whenever there is minus outside, all the inside signs get changed. Now, we will take the common factor. So, what is the common factor of 4x square minus 2x? It's 2x. 4x square divided by 2x is 2x minus 2x divided by 2x is 1 minus what is the common factor of these two terms it's 5 10x divided by 5 is 2x minus 5 divided by 5 is 1 equals 0 so this is my first term this is my second term and i can see that in the first and second term this 2x minus 1 bracket is common so let's take out this bracket common or outside from the first term when i take out 2x minus 1 outside what is left it's 2x minus from the second term when I take out 2x minus 1 outside I am left with minus 5 equals 0. Now according to null factor law whenever the product of two terms or two numbers is 0 then at least one of them must be equal to 0. So I get 2x minus 1 equals 0 or 2x minus 5 equals to 0. These are just our linear equations. So it will give me 2x is 1 and x as 1 half which is one of the solutions of this quadratic equation. From here, I would get 2x as 5 and x as 5 over 2. So, x as 1 half and x as 5 halves are the two solutions of this given quadratic equation.